Introducing the redesigned 2020 Kia Soul GT Line 1.6T. Come on down to Arapahoe Kia and check out this brand new 2020 Soul with a fully custom trim package. Featuring 18 inch alloy wheels, a larger and lowered rear lift gate, a super spacious interior, designed specifically with sound in mind, paddle shifters to get the most out of that seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission, an eight inch color head up display, a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine with 201 horsepower. This car has always been all about fun and the 2020 model is no exception. Come check it out at 9701 East Arapahoe Road Centennial at Arapahoe Kia. Introducing first, fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Marcos Rodriguez. Flyboys here, super bantamweights and speed. And we are moving to the professional boxing division now. So it'll be three minute rounds. Mr. Rodriguez, 34 years old, 5'7". This is, as you referenced, 125 pound fight. Pro debut for Mr. Rodriguez, an orthodox fighter. Ruben Hernandez, 28'5'6", that same 125 pounds, 0-2 is a boxer, but two pro fights and it's different coming amateur to pro. And we'll see if that difference makes any any change in this fight. As everybody says, there's levels to this game. Yes, there is. <laughs> 11th fight, we've had no knockouts and TKOs yet, JR. Something else. Waiting for that final King of Sparta <laughs> fight. Should be a good one in MMA. Oh, yeah. Get us oh, uh, tuned yeah. up for tomorrow night. <laughs> Queen of Sparta tournament winner, Catherine Paparaki in the corner of Mr. Marcos Rodriguez this evening. And his opponent, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat of Denver Blue Corner, Ruben Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, a representative of a family affair boxing. Great gym. Let's list their name as a boxing gym, but uh, yeah, they put out a ton of great MMA fighters. Absolutely. Bantamweight bout is brought to you by Code 4 Security Services. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, representing DCO MMA, Marcos Rodriguez. And his opponent, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat of Denver Blue Corner. From Denver, Colorado, representing a family affair boxing, Ruben Hernandez. Come on Mr. Out, boys. Rodriguez Let's go. wearing the white glove, or okay, excuse me, Mr. Rodriguez wearing the I red gloves. Fight, facing off against Mr. Hernandez, all Hernandez all in the white the gloves. gloves. Question from the red corner, touch him now. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Crowing up to the pro classification, 125 pounds. Super Bantamweight. We are gonna see some speed and cardio for days. Hernandez, some heavy hands coming in with that overhand right, good head movement. Rodriguez, I'm seeing already when he backs up, he drops his hands. He's going to have to be cautious of that. And that, again, the difference between amateur and pro coming up. You can look busy, but Hernandez here with a crisp jab. Going up to three minute rounds here. Okay, 
Nice little left by Hernandez. Yeah. Looping left. Rodriguez just seeming to wait for something to happen. And really good coach that I had once said, if you wait to get hit, you'll get hit. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Rodriguez not finding the range yet, coming in, trying to score, and unable to do so. Hernandez with a crisp jab. Follows up there with that left hook. Hernandez doing a nice job of having Rodriguez out on the end of his punches. And again, Rodriguez dropping those hands and, and coming in with his, with his hands down. Nice body shot. Oh. Hernandez swung for the fences on that one. Yeah, he sure did. Working the body. Both fighters being busy. Rodriguez takes one in overhand left. More of the hook fashion. Rodriguez is trying to settle into that counter punch, JR, but he's not able to get it off. I think so. Just doesn't quite have the exact timing that he wants on it. <laughs> Hernandez starting to stalk a bit. Throwing bombs, just misses that left hand. See if Hernandez is able to get his opponent into the ropes at all. Rodriguez doing a good job of knowing where he is in the ring. Hernandez looking for those body shots. 20 seconds, 15 left in this round now. Hernandez coming in, scoring. And Hernandez looking to put a stamp on the end of the round. He does it with the overhand Set right. Down with some power. A little wild here at the end of the round. <laughs> Much to our delight. Again, first round as a pro. Maybe you feel your way, see what it's all about. It's a little bit different. You can't get away with being wild. Your punches have to be straight. They have to be precise. For sure. And you're dealing with the with the time difference as well. You know, 33% more fighting going there you on go. per round. Yeah, one extra minute. Checking you gotta out, be ready to roll. Checking out our Larry H. Miller replay and shining moment for Rodriguez there, but generally it was Hernandez that was pressuring forward, being the more accurate of the two. And we saw Hernandez after that uh, successful flurry by Rodriguez say, you didn't hurt me, keep bringing that. Seconds out, here we go, round two. Left hand scores, touching him up. Boy, a definite sense of urgency out of Rodriguez. Hernandez continues to dig to the body, then goes upstairs with that right. And I think those body shots are slowing down Rodriguez just a little bit. I don't think he likes them. Good body puncher can really change a fight. Combinations again, when you see the pro fighters, it's not just one punch and leave. Corner Hernandez screaming, he's tired, pressure forward. Yeah, and I think he is, and there's a lot of time left in this second round. Two minutes and 14 seconds. Good overhand right lands for Hernandez. Rodriguez looks to answer back. Yeah. But Hernandez continues to move his hands, find success. Yeah, Hernandez has got those, uh, the better punches coming, and he's close to catching him with the big one. Rodriguez is a little bit awkward, but right now I think he's a little bit tired. He's breathing hard and having a hard time putting up his punches. Yeah, he came out with a really fast pace at the start of the second round. Hernandez now taking a bit of a breather. I was going to say, Hernandez starting to slow his pace just a bit. Another good body shot to that kidney. Rodriguez seems to be waiting. Yeah, like he's I was waiting just going to say. And again, the, the adage, wait, you'll get hit, yeah. that's certainly the case. 
Still a buck 15 left in this second round. Another blistering body shot for Hernandez. And now going upstairs with the left hand, again with the left hand, and digging to the body with the left. Coming over the top with that right. And Rodriguez is tiring out up against the ropes now. Rodriguez a little bit staggered in his footwork. I think that's just fatigue. Yeah, and, and Hernandez is pressing forward with those body punches. Rodriguez is trying to counter punch. There's just not much on him, JR, to keep the fighter off of him. Yeah, and Hernandez doing exactly what he needs to do. Just keep coming forward, keep busy. Ramirez now starting to score at will. Coming off with that quick combination. I tell you, Rodriguez's hands are down, and he goes down in this fight. Standing eight count here, or sitting, kneeling. See if Rodriguez is going to beat the count, and he does. Bell's going to ring. There will Looks be a like third we're going round. To a third round. Hernandez, boy, that's how you want to end around. A lot of action being thrown. That extra minute of the fight when you step up to the pro division. That's an extra hour of training every World day. The difference, yes. play here. This is where uh, Hernandez just stalked forward. He had a good flurry right before that. Rodriguez circled back and Hernandez says, I'll just walk you down and try to go to work. Hernandez is going to have a tough time holding on for this three minutes. Can he put him out? It's a big left body shot he starts off with. It's looking like Hernandez wants an end to it. Not going to try to coast on this one. No, he wants to put him away. And Rodriguez is just having a hard time getting out of the way. He's had his head down. He's bent over. Another big body shot to the kidney. Rodriguez Coming upstairs. keeping his feet under him for now. But he's starting to waver a bit. Rodriguez just taking, absorbing all kinds of body shots and it's opening up upstairs. Rodriguez, it's off a couple of, oh, good left by Hernandez. Rodriguez is bent over and it's providing to be a, a tough target for Hernandez, although dominating the fight. Yeah, Hernandez wanted that finish early in the round and spent a lot of energy trying to go for it. Big left going upstairs by Hernandez. Definitely the telling punches of this fight. Pressuring, continuing to pressure Rodriguez, not letting him get a stance in. He's kind of fought off balance all fight, JR. Yeah, Hernandez still scoring well, but just doesn't have the energy on the punches that he needs in order to try to finish Rodriguez right now. But. I say that as there's still a minute and a half left to go. Both fighters seeming gassed right now. Rodriguez doesn't have this, doesn't have much left, and Hernandez is tired, but he's still getting off the better punches. Boom, big solid left. Nice movement in there by Hernandez. Minute left in this third and final round, super bantamweight division, 125 pounds. Tell you what, Rodriguez can duck, he can he can move. It's tough, provided to be a tough hitting, tough to hit that head. Yeah, he's got really good vision in there, no doubt about it. Can see a lot of what his opponent's trying to bring to him. He's Boy, taking some big left though. There, speaking of. Another left here, trying to fight him off. Another left. That left hook is scoring.
the Hernandez being warned for hitting to the back of the head. Referee said, I know he's ducking, but even though his head's there, you cannot hit him in the back of the head. Nope. I'm not going to take a point, but let me warn you, don't do it again. Rodriguez is bloodied over in the corner, trying to stand there and hang in. Got to be just a few seconds left here. Rodriguez, boy, he seemed to have energized yeah. with that few seconds of break. Got a little bit there, but he's bloody, bloody and bleeding from the nose and mouth. This one again is going to go the distance, JR. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards and a dominant performance by Hernandez. Be three, in the, three in a row for, for the, the blue, blue corner. corner, maybe. Got one more round to go here. And See how Rodriguez does if he's able to will his way through. Checking out the Larry H. Miller replay here. And Hernandez, after he came out wanting to finish Ooh. it early in the round, his punches were still accurate and fast. They just didn't have enough power to put Rodriguez away. And Boy, Rodriguez, what a tough customer that guy is. Yeah, it took a lot of punishment, and the left was certainly doing the job. The left hook was the best punch of the fight, and he used it often. Oh, you know what? Four rounds. Yeah. Four rounds. Yeah, I got confused for a minute. Boy, if he survives this. He was energized at the end of that third round, however. That he was. The proverbial second win. It's coming sometimes. Sometimes you want it a little quicker than it comes. <laughs> Fighters being warned about pushing. Right now, Hernandez scoring at will, digging to the body, wanting that knockout. Rodriguez coming back with the flurry, and again, showing some energy. Today, if you haven't taken me out yet, you're not going to. Yeah, some of the best punches and movement of the fight, uh, as far as Rodriguez is concerned right there. So he's going to take a point, take a point. for pushing. Again, they'll go back at it. Hernandez's corner wants that knockout. He's dominated the fight. Dominated the fight so far, but a knockout was what he wants on his agenda. Yeah, they definitely wanted to defend and finish. And for all the work that he's done, man. Rodriguez is showing the wear and tear of it as well. That is that is a true statement, sir. You are correct, sir. <laughs> Combination's coming left, just misses, grazes. That could have been it. Just don't know what you would have to hit Mr. Rodriguez with. He's just very Terminator-esque. Yeah, and <laughs> it just keeps coming back. The left continues from Hernandez. It's been his best punch of the fight, both digging to the body and going upstairs. And to his credit, Rodriguez listened to the referee and has not done any pushing since the referee warned no, him about it. Done a good job on it, took a point away. Rodriguez trying to make a final push for it here. Both fighters just exhausted. Man, talk about leaving it all in the ring. Boy, these guys are gasping right now. Hernandez wants to finish it, but I don't know if he's got enough in the tank to do it, JR. The toughness of Rodriguez. Man, I, like I said, I just don't know what it would take. Taking the body with that left. Right now, another right. Less than half a minute to go in the round. Rodriguez, Rodriguez comes with a couple punches. Plants his feet and lands a couple of good shots. Yeah, and that was the first time we've seen it in this round. 10 seconds left in this round. Hernandez being busy at the end of the round. Well, welcome to the professional ranks, sir. 
No kidding, wow. Thank you gentlemen for what's a highly entertaining great fight. Man, that was fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely, and I think for our first professional fight, I got a lot of learning in that one. Larry H. Miller replay here, and Hernandez able to get Rodriguez into the corner here. Just goes to work with the hands like he did throughout the entirety of the fight. Always had something to throw. Never seemed to take a break. We talked about the lighter weight classes. I mean, we saw both these guys get tired and drained, but they never quit moving. Yeah, and even at the 125 pound classification, you're gonna have a lot of wear and tear when you're throwing that many punches. This thing started from the opening belt. Rodriguez pressure forward, doing a good job moving his hands with his feet, trying to get some power into the punches, and Hernandez showing off his toughness in that sequence as well. Uh, I tell you, Hernandez took a moment to breathe in that fight, and Rodriguez came on top of him, but Hernandez dominant in that fight. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of four full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges scored about 40 to 34. Declare your winner by unanimous decision, Ruben Hernandez. I'll tell you what, Rodriguez was a tough customer and that oh, took a lot of abuse. All right, we'll take it up. All right, I'm here winners. with you. All right, I'm here with your winner, Ruben Hernandez. This is your first pro boxing win tonight. How does it feel and what does that mean to you? Uh, it feels great, it feels like I'm on the right track. Definitely with the right team, AFA all day. And uh, it feels great, this is the start of new beginnings and uh, I'm glad I started here. You definitely overwhelmed your opponent with the volume of punches you threw tonight. Was that your game plan? Uh, it definitely was. Um, Try to get him out of there uh, towards the end, but he's a very tough opponent. So my, my props to him, hats off to him. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the plan was just to overwhelm him with, with punches, uh, consistent pressure and angles, um, and, and I feel like we did that very well. Yeah, you did a great job executing your game plan. What's gonna be next for you? Um, you know, just, just uh, whatever's next uh, with the coaches, uh, hopefully next month, maybe the month after. Um, you know, we're gonna stay busy and we're gonna make this our year, and uh, AFA all the way, uh, this is what we do. And uh, we're gonna be back-to-back -back champs 100%, so I'm, I'm ready to make that, that journey and uh, to be uh, well a part of it. Congratulations to you and your team. Great job.